Hey guys, we're going to do a quick DIY on how to repair or replace old grommets. So sometimes grommets just break apart. So this quick video is how to actually repair and fix them. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for the story channel. And of course, leave some comments below. I do a lot of DIYs and other fun stuff. To start off, you're going to need a grommet setting tool or grommet toolkit. This is the one from General. They sell this online. I'll leave your feelings below. It's probably around um, 11 to 12 bucks or so, or probably or most 15 bucks. Anyways, it comes with all you need, all the things you need, like the anvils, as well as the grommets. This one came with a 3 8 and also a 1 half size grommet kit. It also has that little wooden block, so you actually use it as a punch. So you actually cut through your fabric to make a new hole. This is actually the anvil presses. So you basically screw on the different size you need onto the anvil. And it's Actually, I'm not even sure if I'm saying the right thing, but basically that's where you screw it on so that you could, you know, punch that against the anvil and so you could, you know, crimp it. So anyways, here's the cutters. So these are actually dies that basically you cut the fabric with. So you make a new perfectly round hole in your fabric. So we'll put that away. As you can see, it slips into each other. There's a one half inch and a three eighths inch. Now, after you, this is how it works. You basically put it on top of the thing and you put um, the top part of that grommet on top and it sandwiches the fabric and then you use a hammer and just punch it down and you know hammer it down it, it basically curls the brass over the other piece so that it locks in place very very straightforward very simple uh, it takes about a minute or two to do each so let's go ahead and just start doing it uh, let's as you can see I'm going to just show you a little bit more so as I think pushes down that center a part turns over and basically clasps the fabric. So I'll go ahead and find one of the old holes that I have in this canvas um, um, wardrobe that broke. So we're gonna go ahead and find the hole you know, as a pilot. This originally was smaller than a 3 8 so we're gonna use a 3 8 grommet. It's actually, if you go replace or repair these, use a one size bigger so that you could actually um, hold onto the fabric. So I'm gonna use a 3 8 punch and I put the piece of wood underneath it, the hardwood, and I'm gonna go ahead and take a hammer and punch a nice clean uh, opening for the new grommet. So using the existing grommet hole, I'm just gonna hammer a few times to make sure it cuts through onto the hardwood block. And there you have it, a nice perfect, you know, perfect you know, circle and hole. So we'll go ahead and remove that piece of wood and put the anvil or the base on it as well as a new grommet to set this thing in place. You want to make sure that uh, if you want the top, the top part is actually upside down. So you want to make sure you put the grommet on the, that you want to show outside of the tent, you know, or material on the bottom so that, you know, that's why I work on the inside of the tent, inside of the, uh, in the inside of the tent or wardrobe. This is, the, you know, this, working from inside out so that the outside has a nice clean look. Inside keeps the uh, part where it actually has um, the bezel and stuff. So, or where it curls into. So you don't want to see that on the outside. Anyways, I went ahead and put the anvil on, put the top part on. So we sandwiched the fabric and just basically hammer it down. So you should just hammer it nice and flat so that it curls it in and there it is. There's a new grommet. Very straightforward, very simple. It takes about a minute or two for each of you to get your uh, pace in and, and you know, basically once you get the form, form and the motion, you could quickly do this like less than a minute or two for each grommet to replace it. To punch a hole, put the sandwich the grommet in and basically, you know, seat the new grommet. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool. And let's go ahead and work on the next one. And this, here we go again, I'm gonna go ahead and find the old hole, get the punch for the three eighths. And a few of the sides, one side is actually very sharp and one side is kind of sharp. So I'm going to use the very sharp side of the uh, hole punch to basically set it on top of the existing hole. Again, this is, you know, pretty straightforward. It's not really that hard. The instructions are just pictographs anyways on the, on the, on the toolkit. So just in case, you know, those pictures don't, you know, don't make sense. I'm, that's why I made a video. So quick punch. Nice clean hole, remove the wood and put the anvil on the bottom, the base as well as the set or the grommet, the new grommet, and poke it through the hole real fast. You don't want to move the fabric too much because it's going to fray it. You don't want to fray the fabric. 
Um, you just want to hurry and put this. That's why I'm doing one by one because I could have punched all of them first, but it's probably not a good idea. Um, and go ahead and place the top on there or the more like the bottom part. And then I'm going to put the anvil with that, um, with the uh, 3 8 anvil piece, I guess. I'm not sure what we call it. Go ahead and hammer it. And that's done for this one too. Just a few quick, you know, firm hits to make sure it goes straight. And sometimes if you hit it too hard, you might get it. You might, um, you might want to do it directly on top so that it's nice and firm. Otherwise, you might, you know, misalign it and it's going to not grab all the fabric. So you have to be careful of that. Anyways, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, leave some comments below. Of course, hit that bell button for more Costco finds, DIYs, and other fun stuff on my channel. I'm going to do more DIYs on how to repair stuff around the house, including, of course, repairing bungee cords that are worn down. I also do a lot of Costco finds and things I see at Costco because I go there almost every other day. And, of course, I do um, unboxing and reviews of products I bought a few years ago and the newer version of it. And I've, I do comparison tests between other fun stuff, too. So stay tuned for more.